Royal Stadium in Austin, Texas is bursting with excited fans who've come to watch one exciting football game. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. It's fielded at the two. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. They come out in a five-wide set. He fights forward to about the 20. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Play, taken down in the backfield. And that play was snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. It's a delayed handoff to the tailback, and the defense wasn't fooled at all there. Jamison is back deep to return the punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out to midfield. The Longhorns know that they can give this guy the ball, Kirk, 25, 30 times a game, and that's great. And if it's working, that's perfect. But also, as a defensive team, you look at him and you go, we worry about him too much, we could get burned somewhere else. Well, the defensive coaches told us this week the first thing that they have to do is stop this running game. And when, when you're convinced that you have to stop the running game, you leave your defensive backs, especially your corners, isolated one-on-one -on -one in coverage. And if they're smart, they'll try to take advantage of that and try to make some big plays in the passing game, maybe early, and then go back to old reliable, and that's running the football. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. So the halfback gets some decent yards and a first down. This young man ran with some purpose there and picked up six yards. From the 39-yard line, first down. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Three down, three down. Mike six. Mike six. Ready. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Third down. Third and ten coming up. Ball on the 39. Throws a bullet. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Try to change the field position with his kick. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He's pushed out of bounds at the 18. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. They looked like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton of running room there. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 18-yard line. Miller takes it right side. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Miller gets six yards on the carry. That'll make it second and four.
Looks like he flinched down there on the line. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. From their own 19-yard line, second down. Tackle made around the 16-yard line. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. Quick throw out to the receiver. Steps out of bounds at the 21. Barber gains about five yards on the play. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Knocked out of bounds around the 45-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. He's taken down at the 36. You talk about a dual threat guy, this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. From the 36 yard line, it's first down. There's a fumble. The defense scoops it. What do you think about that last turnover, Kirk? Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After, After review of the play, play the ruling, ruling on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he's taken down right around the 20. Bring him down around the five yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Run right side, and he's tackled at the five. No biggie. That brings up second and goal. Dives, and he's down. That makes it third and goal. From the one yard line, third down. Touchdown, Longhorns. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 51-yard drive. And they put up seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Texas is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. 
He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 27. The Longhorns are looking downright scary on defense so far, Irving. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He keeps it on the option and picks up maybe four. From their own 31 yard line, it's second down. Quick strike, and he drops it. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he tackles him hard at the 41. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. From their own 41-yard line, first down. He scrambled, slides down. So the scramble goes for nine yards. That brings up second and nine. He might have a chance. Makes it out to about the 30. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. around the 29-yard line. The option gets him a yard at best. They'll spread the field with five wide. They go to the left for a nice game. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he's immediately tackled. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. From the 13-yard line, first down. And down he goes at the four-yard line. That brings up second and one. This is the 10th play of this drive. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. Room around the corner. Touchdown, TCU! Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 72-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 26-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 26. He's tackled right around the 40.
He makes his way to about the 48. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Number four was the intended receiver on the way. That'll bring up third and two. Three down, three down. Mike Six! Mike Six! Here we go! Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Pearson awaits the snap. Tries to get around the corner. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. Makes the catch and look out. And they make the stop at the 37. We played one quarter. We're even at seven in this one. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Brought down at the 41-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. That makes it second and ten. Gives it up the gut. Nice run there. A five-yard pickup by the halfback on the misdirection. That'll make it third and five. Third and five situation. Ball on the 46-yard line. made around the 44-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. Four down, four down. 47 yards, 47 yards. Here we go. Green 90. Green. Caught open field, and they push him out around the 23-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 23-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. And this play is number eight on the drive. Runs it left for a decent game. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Five wide. Gets to about the 11-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. Ready, 
Quick throw. He gets hit out of bounds around the three-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Takes it, and he's tackled short. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. TCU could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And they get nice yardage on that run. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Strike to the fullback, incomplete. That'll bring up fourth and one. Davis is back awaiting the punt. Davis takes it to 25. He gets out to about the 35 yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They're about four yards away here on second down. TCU holds a field goal lead. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 49. First down. Key 15, key 15. All day, just like that, just like that. Here we go! He makes his way to about the 42. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here, it's second down and one. his receiver and that's a first down he's taken down at about the 33 yard line now he's scrambling Second and 15. Ball on the 38-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. TCU is up by three. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready. 
ready for the kickoff. Jamison fields at the goal line. Brought down at the 28. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Receiving team. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Three down, three down. Mike six. Mike six. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 17 yard line. Second down. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Passes left, going the other way. And he's tackled around the 25-yard line. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. First and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. TCU is up by six. Feeds it to the back. Got an opening. And he's taken down around the 13-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down around the nine-yard line. That brings him second and five. Ball inside the 10-yard line. Second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires quickly, touchdown! A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. Gets it. He's in space. Tackle at the 13. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. Open man. Quick strike. And he can't pull it in. Second down. 10 to go. Ball on the 13.
throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. That brings us third and ten. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. They're going to go for the easy three here. The kick is up, and he's got it. They line up to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. The Horned Frogs are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Strike to his receiver, no good. It's second and ten. Ball on the 29. Ready! Line 80! Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. And down he goes at the 45-yard line. From their own 45-yard line. First down. Quick pass. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. And they make the stop at the 16-yard line. TCU's going to have to use their second time out of the half. After a decent run up the gut. Passes it to the middle of the field. Brought down around the four-yard line. Bailey gains around seven yards with a catch, and that's good for a first down. I'll tell you, these guys just keep rolling down the field. Quarterback's looking very sharp on this drive. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Last drive resulted in a field goal, and the offense will come back out looking to do one better. Tailback brought down for a loss. We've still got a half of football remaining. TCU's got a 13-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. It's all about perspective. Everybody who loves offense loves that first half. Lots of big plays, explosive plays. Offense has really got into the rhythm. But then there's the responsible opposing view, finding all the things that went wrong on the defensive side. Yeah, it, it's twofold. You know, there's an offense and there's a defense. And at some point, I'm, glad, you, guys, I'm glad you've noticed that. Yeah, well, I didn't notice it in the first half, but <laughs> I no, wanted but one side in the I'd, first half. I'd like to notice more of it in the second half. And, and it's it's a simple one. When a wide receiver catches a slant at seven yards and takes it 70, there's a problem. 
Somebody needs to hit the guy. Somebody needs to be a little bit physical. Somebody needs to be willing to tackle the guy and bring him to the ground. Too many missed tackles, too many explosive plays. And if you play defense like that, you should probably look in behind you and say, I think I'm going to get the other guy in because he's got to be better than this guy to start. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know. Something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Jesus. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. With a quick throw. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. A pass like that is so hard to defend because the defender doesn't have a great play on the ball unless it's underthrown. It's all based on connection between the quarterback and his receiver. It's first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. The ball is loose. And it's picked up by one of the linemen. It's a good job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. made at the 11. First and 10 following that big run. Gets to about the eight-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the eight. He might not be able to get the pass off. Steps up and goes down. Kicks up, and it is good. Texas to kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He's tackled at the 24. The Horn Frogs are flying through this ball game. They have scored 23 unanswered points. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. And they hit him in the backfield. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Go 
He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Throws a strike over the middle. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. Jamison is back awaiting the punt. Tackle made at the 29. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackled at the 45. From the 45 yard line, it's first down. Plenty of time in the pocket. They bring the quarterback down. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. From the 48-yard line, second down. He's under some heat. Pass complete and taken down immediately. They come out on an empty backfield. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He fights forward to about the 36, and they'll take over on downs. The offense tried to run right by him with the counter play, but the defense was there to make the stop. Great hold, guys. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. And now he's got room to run. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Little screen pass, and he's taken down at the 50. That makes it first and ten. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Play fake. He zips it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Fires that quickly, incomplete. 
So they're going to go for it here. He's on the run. They'll bring him down right around the 42-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Robinson gets the ball, runs outside for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's at the 40, and they push him out at about the 35. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 40 yard line. Three down, three down. Hey, check back, check back. Five, Ready, check. check. Five, six. Ready. Five, five, five. Tackle right around the 30. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. Texas to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. The Horned Frogs fans have got to be going crazy. It looked like they had this one in hand or could put it out of reach, and they haven't been able to do it. It's a tough game for the fans to watch because their team was so dominant early in the game, and now they've just gone cold, and they've allowed the opponent to get right back into this game. They better find something here to be able to try to get out of here with a win. Got it to his man on the screen. I think a key in being able to throw a good screen pass is the quarterback selling it, looking downfield as if he's going to throw the ball downfield, knowing he's about to retreat and just dump it to his running back. So I think the quarterback is the key, being able to time it up, wait for that pressure to get to him, and then wait to the last possible second to deliver the football to the receiver or running back. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. TCU is up seven. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. He delivers. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. He fights forward to about the 26. Yeah. 
Miller takes it right side. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. And here's another third down. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. TCU can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 24-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's tackled right around the 22-yard line. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Brought down around the 22-yard line. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. And down he goes at the 43. They're just one quarter away. 26-16, TCU. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Quick throw. This one will fall incomplete. Boy, this is a great play by the safety to be able to be in a position to make this play, but he's got to be able to hold on to the football. You know, he's a big, physical, athletic guy, but you've got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. Scrambling around, and they make the stop around the 46-yard line. down and they need to get it inside the 47. Three down, three down. Mike six. Mike six. Ready. Complete brought down. Nothing doing. That makes it fourth and four. Receivers brought down before he can get there. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Steps out of bounds at the 48. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 48. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield.
pressure. He lets it fly. That close to being intercepted. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So they're just about set to get the game going again. It's the tailback. He has some room. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 30. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Takes the ball right. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. Tackle made around the 42 yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. For a loss. Loss of two yards on the play. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he's hit immediately. I love to watch quarterbacks on third down, to just kind of see where they are as far as their psyche and, and their, their approach to the game. It's another big third down. He was able to sit back, evaluate the defense, had just enough time to be able to make the throw. They pick up the first down, they get a new set of down. And he's level at the 45-yard line. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. That'll bring up second and 12. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 45. And they'll run him again. He's knocked out of bounds at the 48-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. That'll bring up third and eight. He gets another carry. He fights forward to around midfield. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Complete. He's got room. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. run and he's brought down that brings him second and five second and five coming up here ball on the 30 yard line and he's tackled around the 21 yard line the 12th play of the drive. Looking for the corner. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. From the 18-yard line, second down. On the ground, left side. Makes it out to about the 10. And this is the 14th play of the drive. Right 
Handoff to the right. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. From the 10 yard line, it's second down. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And this is the 16th play of the drive. He's hit and taken down. Maybe three yards that time on the pass. This young wide receiver has the raw ability to make some big plays. So that was a good job there by the defense to stop him for a short game. Here we go from the seven. It's fourth down. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. play ever developed nicely well it's all about the receiver on this play he beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route all he had to do after that was make the catch you talk about a clutch play they couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there and he converts the extra point a long 17 play 79 yard drive and it's good for seven points so the score now 26 23 texas get set to kick this one away It's fielded at the two. At the 30. Room around the corner. Taken down by the kicker. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. Brad, at this point, this defense has to do everything in their power to try to strip that ball away to get the ball back to their own offense to see if they can get a chance to win this game. Quick out to his receiver. Out of bounds right around the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, first down. TCU has a three-point lead. Here we go. 180. 180. Check, check. Tiger. Tiger. with room to work. He's pushed out of bounds at the 38. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. down at the 37. The halfback picks up a yard. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game. Nice stop by the junior. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. I think the defense is starting to be concerned about the outcome of this game. That was a huge first down by the offense and at this point you wonder if the defense can make a play to get their own offense back out on the field. And he tackles him hard at the 34-yard line. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. They hand it off again. Heading for the corner. Knocked out of bounds at the 26. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. down after a nice run up the middle. Here's the eighth play of the series. They've 
They didn't snap the ball in time. Delayed game. Awesome. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. So the penalty will make it first and 15. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Tackle at the 33. So that's going to do it. The Horned Frogs get the victory, 26-23. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.